SNES Chronicles, reviewing every game on the Super Nintendo by release date. Super Baseball Simulator 1.000 or 1000. I don't know. I'll just refer to it as Super Baseball Simulator. Remember what I said about all the games starting with Super? And this is just the tip of the iceberg. An upgrade of the NES game with the same name, except for the Super. What looks really simple as everything you'd want in a baseball game. It's pretty typical, with the camera at the right place, behind the catcher. I won't really comment on the graphics and the sounds. You can see it for yourself. Nothing really special. The big difference with other games like this is you can play with power-ups. Yeah, power-ups. Each player has their set of powers, and they all cost something. But you have a limit for the game and for your team, so watch out. So this game is called Super Baseball Simulator, but for now it doesn't seem realistic at all. And the power-ups are there just for fun. If you want to play a normal game, you still can. The simulator aspect is for all the options in this game. It's pretty thorough. First, just an exhibition mode. You can choose the number of innings, and you can choose from a number of teams and they all have their advantages. Of course the difficulty, and the stadium. And it doesn't stop there, you can even play as the manager. Now you're gonna tell me, why play the manager? I wanna play the game. Well, it's a really neat option if you have bad reflexes and you just don't want to hit the ball, but tell your player what to do. It can be very different. And you can manage everything. The batting order, the position of the players, and you have other options while the game is running. Don't worry, you'll have plenty to do. You can just watch the game if you want. And with any respectable baseball game, you have your seasons. And again, all the options. But what's really interesting is the edit mode. Where we can edit pretty much everything. The name of your teams, their uniform, their specialty. The name of each player and every one of their statistics. It's pretty crazy. I haven't played that many baseball games, so it's difficult for me to judge their gameplay. Seems okay, I mean, everything works as it should. A couple of things that bothers me, it's a little too easy to do a foul ball. Even the computer has some problem with it. Tell me, is this the kind of thing that you'll see in a baseball game? Not even relaying the ball to another player? It's a complete package, that's for sure. I mean, you have your simple, normal baseball game, and then you have the option to add power-ups on top of that. You have your classic season mode, and you have the edit mode, where we can edit pretty much anything as you want. And you can even play as the manager. Oh, and everything is saved in the game. All your edits and your season will be saved. I don't know what else you'd want from a baseball game. Definitely interesting if you're into baseball games, or any sports game on the Super Nintendo. Try it out. See you soon, guys, and remember, have fun, peace! If you appreciate, please like and subscribe. There's also a Facebook page, and every episode is available in French.